Hey YouTube, Maddie's Daddy 12. This is Jason and we are out doing some uh, yard selling today. Um, you know, pretty pretty rough night last night. My uh, my Yankees my Yankees lost. We were eliminated from the American League Divisional Series. So uh, that stinks. But I've got a couple hours this morning. I'm going to go do some yard sailing. Uh, we do have... Uh, we do have some things to do uh, today as a family, but Peggy had to work this morning, so she's going to work, I'm going to work, the yard sale scene, and then uh, we're going to go home, and we're going to get the kids together, and we're going to head over, and we're going to do some thrifting over in Evansville. So uh, a rather big day scheduled for today, um, but because I wasn't real sure exactly how much time I was going to have, no real plan for today as far as the yard sales are concerned. I didn't do any research on which ones as far as the, the Facebook groups or uh, uh, Craigslist or even the, the little uh, newspaper app that I normally use. I didn't use any of that. I just kind of was like, I'm gonna get in my car and we're just gonna freestyle this today. We're just gonna head out and whatever direction we go, I hope there's a yard sale that way. So. We'll hit all these up, uh, you know, whatever I can find, and then I'll do a little recap at the end, let you guys see everything that we got. I mean, if you need them, I guess that's not bad. That's Clifford.
Are the softball bags for sale? No. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, you're fine. So before we get into the recap of everything else, uh, this is one thing that I've still got in the back of my car. Um, they are Ford Motor Company hubcaps. I believe they are 17 inch uh, hubcaps, and if I'm not mistaken, they are late 70s, early 80s model uh, hubcaps, and I believe they are for a Ford truck. Um, I got them for $17 along with those, uh, the chairs that you'll see in just a bit. Uh, I got them for $17. It was $20 for the chairs and the hubcaps together. Uh, these hubcaps are going to be a pretty decent sale. Uh, they are rather heavy, uh, obviously, because they're they're steel. Uh, they're metal hubcaps. But I will probably sell these for around $100 to $150. Um, it looks like a lot of them are getting sold in pairs for around $70 for the pair. So, uh, I'm really hoping to be able to get at least, a uh, hundred dollars out of this set. All right, guys, seems like it was a pretty good day for hats. Um, this is what I picked up today and, uh, let's go through what we got and what I think we'll make. All right. So I got all these hats, all of th these hats at one sale. Um, he wanted three dollars a piece on them. Uh, I don't really like paying three dollars on a hat, um, even used, uh, especially used, even if they are. I mean, these are in great shape, like, he did not wear these much at all. Um, so I was like, How much would you take if I bought multiple of them? He's like, I'll do two dollars a piece. And I got, I picked out 11. Uh, I was like, uh, would you do 15? He's like, no, but I would do 20. So I got them for a little less, just a little bit less than $2 a piece, which is fine. Um, because, uh, I got, I got some decent money sitting here in hats. Uh, I feel like I'll sell this one at the flea market for 10. Uh, these will go to the flea market for about $8 a piece. Uh, this one's a little bit nicer. Um, I will probably get $10 out of this one at the flea market. Uh, these Seattle Mariners hats are a little, got a little wear on them. Um, but I will probably get around $5 a piece out of those two. Maybe even $7 a piece on those two. Uh, this Nike hat will actually probably end up going to my brother because it's, it's the same colors as his motorcycle. Um, and it's super nice. Like, I'm not even sure he even, the guy even wore this hat. Um... So, like, it's super nice. Uh, but if it goes to the flea market, it'll probably be another 8 to 10 bucks. Along with this Under Armour hat, will probably be another 6 or 7 Because this one did get some wear. Um, so, those, all of those will probably end up at the flea market. And will probably be around those prices. Uh, those two hats back there are minor league baseball hats. Uh, this one is... Uh, they're both from the Tacoma team. Uh, this is when it was a affiliate of the Mariners, which is still, uh, the Rainers, the Tacoma Rainers, uh, before they were the Tacoma Rainers, they were actually the Tacoma Tuggers or the Tacoma Tugs, I believe. Uh, but they were associated with the Minnesota twins at that point. Uh, but with those, both those being minor league hats, those are not going to sell locally. I'm going to have to put those on eBay, uh, and move those. And then that kind of pairs off with this, uh, University of Washington hat 
Uh, it is also super clean. Um, but not a whole lot of Washington, University of Washington fans in this area. So that one will go to eBay. I will probably get around 15 out of that and probably around 12 out of both of those. So, uh, pretty good money out of 12 to, out of $20. I'll probably end up making around $120 profit in all those. So at one sale, uh, I picked up this Notre Dame hat for two bucks and that U.S. Open hat for 50 cents. Um, that Notre Dame hat will go to the flea market. I'll probably get around seven or eight dollars out of it. Uh, that U.S. Open hat will get listed on eBay, and those actually do pretty decent. Closer to the uh, to the U.S. Open at Chambers Bay, uh, it's a the golfing event. Uh, this one's the 2015 one. Um, they do a little bit better around that time of the year, so I will probably list that one for around twelve. Uh, if it's still on eBay, whenever that event comes around, it'll probably get bumped up to around twenty. But I'm expecting to make around twelve to fifteen dollars profit on that one. Uh, to even out a dollar at this same sale, I found this copy of Courageous Steel Sealed. Uh, I do have Facing the Giants. I don't have that this movie, so I kind of bought that just kind of a personal little buy. Uh, let's see. At another sale, actually at that same sale, I bought these Bentley headphones. Uh, these are vintage Bentley headphones. There is just a little bit of damage there. Um, but they are vintage. They're, uh, when I looked them up, they were like 1978 model. Um, so super cool headphones. I got them for two bucks. Um, with the box, they go for about 25 to 28. With that little bit of damage, I'm still expecting to get around $15 out of it because this is not like... There you go. It's not like a wear damage. This is like a factory defect kind of damage. So, um, but damage nonetheless. Uh, so Jaden will get those tested for me and I will probably end up selling those on eBay for around 15 bucks. Uh, so at another sale, let's see here. At this sale, I got both of these leather jackets. Uh, one is a medium and one is a large uh, along with this fossil watch. And I paid $5 each on these jackets and this watch. The watch will end up going to eBay. Um, not really sure what I'm going to get out of it. I don't really deal a whole lot in watches. But I'm going to list that one on eBay and see what I can get out of it. Uh, these jackets, on the other hand, uh, super clean. Uh, not extremely sought after brands. Uh, this one is a Worthington. And this one is a Body Central. I am going to try to do just a little bit of research on them before. Uh, I just take them to the flea market. But I think I'm going to end up taking these to the flea market. I paid $5 each on them. And I will probably sell them for around $24.99 at the flea market. Uh, at one sale, I got just this one pair of shoes. That is a brand new pair of 510 stealth c4s they are rock climbing shoes uh i paid five dollars for them and they have never been used um or she says they've never been used they don't really show much wear in fact the other one is not even laced so um yeah rock climbing shoes women's rock climbing shoes um I paid five dollars for them. It looks like they are going to sell for around forty-five, forty-five to seventy dollars seems to be the price on those. I will probably list mine for around forty-five to fifty dollars and just let them roll. And then the last thing that I got today, more lawn chairs. <laughs> um, I had to take both of them. I didn't really want both of them, but I had to take both of them because she says she wanted three dollars for both. I was not a real big fan of that one. I was a big fan of this one. This one is is pretty nice. Uh, is this is going to clean up real easily? The straps are in real good shape. Does have a little bit of discoloring up here at the top, but again, that should clean up rather easily. Not really wanting to come off right now, but that should clean up. And if it doesn't, like it's still in super good condition. No rust. Actually, a little bit of rust. No rust on the bar. So. Uh, very little rust on the bar. So uh, $3 for both of them. She would not sell them separately, even though I was like, I really only want this one. She was like, you have to buy both of them for 3 bucks." So 
There you go. I'm going to end up uh, getting both of them. This one might turn into a project for me if I can ever find some time. Um, obviously, the well, it's, even, it's breaking even more. Uh, the plastic uh, arm covers are broken, and the straps are in desperate need of some attention or just replacing, honestly. So, um, if I come across something that I think would be kind of cool, I might put some work into those. Or put some work into this one. But I, I doubt it. That one's probably going to end up getting completely stripped down and just sold as a frame for probably about 15 bucks. But so, I mean, I got about a dollar invested in it. So, a dollar fifty invested in it. So, if I could, if I could sell just the frame for 10 bucks, then I'll be doing good. Let somebody else do the work. So, there you go, guys. That's what I got today. Uh, this is pretty cool. I got this the other day. Support our troops. Operation Desert Storm. Vintage little trucker hat. Um, but anyway, make sure you head over to eBay. Check out our page. There's the link down in the description. Check out all this stuff that'll get listed. And uh, check us out on Instagram. I appreciate it, guys. Subscribe. Comment down below. Show us how much you love us.